Hello again, this is Preheat. Welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. So I was fortunate enough to get an early look at the War Within Alpha, and I've been able to play the new specs. Uh, and I want to talk about Scale Commander and Flame Shaper because now that I've gotten my hands on them, I want to clarify how some of these specs work and how these interactions work and kind of give you an update on uh, what Evoker Devastation specifically is looking like in the War Within. So just to start things off, we're going to do a quick refresher. So Skill Commander has Mass Disintegrate, which is basically this ability where uh, whenever you use any sort of Empower spell, your next Disintegrate is going to strike up to three targets. And as you can see there, it actually does look like we expected it to, where you get the three beams, uh, just like so. And a really cool thing about this is the interactions actually work the way that we were also expecting. So stuff like Causality, stuff like Scintillation, stuff like Charge Blast, these all actually work with your disintegrates. All of them are gonna give you those stacks, which is fantastic, love that. One thing that's really cool about this spell is if you mass disintegrate a target and they die while your mass disintegrate is up, it'll actually continue on the other target. So here, I'm gonna press disintegrate, you notice the target is dead and I am still disintegrating. So this is fantastic. Even if the target you're attacking dies, your mass disintegrate will continue, which I think is so important. And this is uh, really good that Blizzard thought this one through. The other thing we had some assumptions about that I want to talk about is maneuverability. And I'm happy to report that everything I predicted about this ability ended up becoming true. So maneuverability makes it so Deep Breath no longer has a reticle at all. In fact, you'll see here, this is not a macro. I just have Deep Breath bound and I can walk right up to something. Normally I wouldn't be able to Deep Breath in this direction because uh, my reticle would tell me that it's not far enough. But if I press Deep Breath, you'll notice that my character immediately takes to the air and now I can control it. Another thing that's really cool about Deep Breath is if you press it again after you go in the air, you can actually cancel out of it super soon. You, so you saw there, I broke out my Deep Breath basically as soon as uh, the GCD finished. This allows you to get your Melt Armor up on targets and then immediately break out your Deep Breath and have that damage increase on your Essence abilities for that 12 seconds and getting more out of it because you aren't locked into a Deep Breath. The other question we had were the bombardments, and we do have a pretty decent proc rate on this. Obviously, whenever you use Mass Disintegrate, it's guaranteed, but you see the little direct there, fly through there, drop a bomb, does damage. This is also going to give me a chance to proc Essence Burst here because I have Diverted Power. It's also going to give me cooldown reduction on my Deep Breath as well. I tested this with three people on three targets, and three people, three targets ends up being around 20 seconds of cooldown reduction on your Deep Breath over about a minute span. So it's actually a pretty decent amount of cooldown reduction. And the best part is you actually don't accrue threat, it seems, from this bombardment. So whenever you're getting this extra damage, it's not going towards your threat. And as you know, threat is kind of a problem for devastation right now. So in this example, I'm gonna do an AOE test here on the four targets. So I'm gonna open up with a max rank fire breath into shattering star, which is gonna amp the damage on my targets. Then I'm gonna deep breath to melt their armor. After that, I'm gonna mass disintegrate, which will give me charge blast for my dragon rage. After I pop Dragon Rage, I'm gonna use Eternity Surge, and then I have uh, one Mass Disintegrate to use, and then I'm gonna use a Pyre, and you'll kind of see from there. But anyways, uh, so here's the example. We're gonna do the Max Rank Fire Breaths, and then we're doing the Shattering Star here into the, the Deep Breath, into the Mass Disintegrate, into Dragon Rage, now that we have the Charge Blast, into Eternity Surge, into another Mass Disintegrate, and then a Pyre. Now keep in mind, I don't have add-ons, I don't have meters, I don't have Warcraft logs, I can't tell what's best, all I can really do is feel it out. Also this is alpha, so things could change, but I feel like so far, just in my play testing, this feels like the best opener. So just gonna show it one more time here. Uh, so doing a max rank fire breath into a shattering star, into a deep breath, and then I'm going to cancel my deep breath, I'm going to do one disintegrate into dragon rage here, into Eternity Surge, into another Mass Disintegrate, and then I start casting Pyres. We're gonna tip the scales on this Fire Breath, and then do a Mass Disintegrate, followed up by a Pyre. And I think generally this is just kind of the, the thing you wanna do, is just always follow up with the, uh, with the Pyre after you Mass Disintegrate. So Mass Disintegrating again here, throwing out a Pyre, and then our Fire Breath is back up, so we'll go ahead and use that Max Rank. Get an Essence Burst. Use Mass Disintegrate, and then back to Pyrene, and then our Eternity Surge is coming back up here. I'm gonna send it rank one just so I can get it out. Do a Mass Disintegrate, throw the Pyre. I might be able to get Stinch in here. Oh, we barely got it. Okay. Oh, actually we missed it there. But anyways, you get the idea. And then Deep Breath is up again, so obviously at this point I would want to Deep Breath again, cancel out of it as soon as I get through, and then uh, probably throw the Pyre. Um, so your, your damage on your uh, essence spenders is going to be amped during the melt armor. So you want to make the most 
of the mill armor window. Again, I don't know if this is optimized yet. This is just pure feely craft, but it feels right to me so far. So I'm going to go with it. One thing I really love about Skill Commander is it feels like you have so much more cooldown reduction on your empower spells, which means you then in turn have a lot more uh, Dragon Rage uptime. And it feels really, really good in AoE because it, it almost feels like you just like always have damage up for like every single pull. Uh, and doing the whole mass disintegrate and then pirating after and worrying about your charge blast stacks and having the increased CDR, these all kind of compound together to make devastation a lot more complex. And it makes it a lot more fun, in my opinion, because there's just like a lot more to pay attention to. And I'm not even paying attention to like the ticks, right? I, I don't have weak auras for that. I'm just kind of feeling it out. Uh, but yeah, it, it the rotation itself feels very satisfying and it feels like you just have like a lot of tools to deal with stuff. It just adds like one extra layer of thought whenever it comes to using your empower spells and the other spells that interact with them. Another thing I saw a lot of speculation about was this talent right here, Slipstream, since it says deep breath resets the cooldown on your hover. And I'm happy to report that even if you use two hovers and then you use your deep breath, it actually gives you both of those charges back. See that? So yes, it does in fact give us both charges of hover, which makes this talent very, very strong. Obviously, the other talent here is also very strong for any sort of challenging content because it's just 10% avoidance whenever we're in our hover, which is a ton of damage reduction. So it's definitely going to be a tough choice. So I also ran some dungeons as skill commander, and I found its damage to be really good. Uh, obviously, I don't have damage meters, so I can just go off of feels. Uh, but here you see I open with the fire breath, just like I was talking about, into the deep breath. And I'm going to mass disintegrate, get those stacks. I have 16 stacks there. Boom, Dragon Rage hits a ton of damage. And then, uh, yeah, you'll notice that the bombardments go up. The target's already dead because this is normal. Uh, you know, in normal dungeons, the, the mobs die like instantly. But the damage on this felt really, really nice. And I really just, I love the playstyle. The playstyle feels so good. Uh, love having the extra things to worry about. Love having the bombardments come through. It looks really cool whenever the dragons just kind of fly through, do their damage. The, the look of Mass Disintegrate 2 is incredible. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really a fan of skill commander honestly like it is so fun and i'm so happy that they actually made mass disintegrate work the way that they made it work and that deep breath actually feels like a good button to press because that's honestly that's something that i was really concerned about with skill commander was how deep breath would actually feel because obviously right now if you're playing on live you don't really like pressing deep breath like it's it doesn't feel like a good button to press but in the war within deep breath is actually a proper cooldown and you will want to use it You'll notice I kind of am just like using deep breath on cooldown whenever it comes up. Um, but yeah, all these pulls, right? All this AOE, anytime there's targets, I'm just immediately straight into the action, throwing out the mass disintegrates, immediately throwing out pyres. Um, yeah, rotation feels great. The the beam looks incredible. Aesthetically, it is a, a really awesome hero talent build. And uh, I have nothing but good things to say about it so far, except for... The elephant in the room, which is threat, right? Devastation still has threat issues. I will say, as skill commander, I noticed that the threat issues seemed a little bit less worrisome. It could have been because Tally was doing great at keeping aggro. It could be because skill commander generates less threat because of uh, the bombardments causing a lot of its damage. Um, but I definitely noticed it when I played Flame Shaper, which we're going to talk about next. Um, but I want to let you kind of see more of the uh, the footage here, more of the AOE, just because. Skill Commander felt so great. Um, it isn't just AOE too. Like, I guess I should make a note of this. So it really felt good in single target as well. So I'm going to skip ahead to this boss here just to kind of give you an idea. So whenever you're doing single target as Skill Commander 2, you actually get so much more cooldown reduction, like even in single target when it comes to your empower spells. So it's just like a lot more empowers that you can get off during your Dragon Rage. And uh, keep in mind, we're being scaled up to a certain item level in here. So... Uh, my stats, I honestly don't even know what they are. I, the starter gear they give devastation on this is like 170, so it's really bad. The gear is really, really bad. Um, but I did feel like I was able to very easily get those extensions, keep my Dragon Rage up pretty much the entire fight. Uh, and I felt like my damage was good, but obviously that's just my feels right. I can't really go off of uh, anything unless I have a damage meter. Um, but yeah, very defensive, very tanky, very useful, a lot of utility. You have stuns constantly with your deep breaths. You have good damage in single target. You have good damage in funnel whenever you have additional targets because you're getting that cooldown reduction on your empower spells. Uh, and overall, it just feels like a, a really, really well put together spec. Uh, just really wish it had like a threat reduction button. I also wish I had less anxiety about AUG because I know that AUG still has Spatial Paradox and it's currently the only spec with Spatial Paradox. So I feel like there's going to be situations where people just want AUG because they want that utility. 
Um, but yeah, Scale Commander is great. So let's go ahead and talk about Flame Shaper. So when it came to the initial reveal, Flame Shaper was definitely the more simple of the two hero talent builds that you can go as Devastation. It's a lot more straightforward. Uh, you can pretty much get everything you need to know from the tooltips themselves. Uh, but I want to talk about how this actually plays because it is distinctly different from Scale Commander, which I actually appreciate a lot. And you notice I was kind of running different talents for uh, for Scale Commander there. I was trying to get uh, Onyx Legacy and I also wanted Charge Blast. Uh, but I think as Flame Shaper, you'll play more like you play Devastation right now um, with some small caveats. So obviously, number one is that you have Engulf, which is a new ability. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here so I can track it. Uh, and then whenever it comes to Engulf, I'm pretty sure you just want to use it whenever you have all your damage amps up because this thing hits really hard. So I'm going to show you an example here. This is on the target dummies. I'm not high. I'm level. I'm actually way lower than I am on live, right? Because again, I have really bad starter gear, but... Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do my opener. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and go straight into Dragon Rage. And I'm going to Fire Breath, Eternity Surge, put up my Shattering Star, and then immediately Engulf twice. Boom. Boom. And you see there, the Engulf damage is quite high. And the damage on the target, because I'm putting my Shattering Star up on the target, it's going to be amped. And that way you can get those two Engulfs off. And then afterwards, you have this nice little buff. So whenever you press your ability, look how fast that Disintegrate is. Super, super fast. Um, so that's the benefit there of uh, Flame Shaper is you have like a greatly increased cast speed on your Disintegrate, on your Eternity Surge, whatever it is that you cast afterwards. Um, just to give you another example. So like, let's say I do a max rank Fire Breath into Shattering Star, into Engulf, and then I do a rank two Eternity Surge. It comes out so fast, right? But the playstyle of Flame Shaper when it comes to Evoker on The War Within versus Evoker on Live, it's very similar because Engulf has a 30 second cooldown and you do have two charges, so you can just throw out both of those immediately whenever you use your Dragon Rage. But outside of that, it just feels pretty much exactly like Devastation, just with more uh, damage coming out, more passive damage, and slightly more haste whenever you use Engulf, um, and just like more resets. I did notice, though, in single target, it actually felt really good. And this also has the ability to get those extensions really easily with Dragon Rage, because you, you just get so much more haste with your Engulf that you're able to fit more spells in there. So I was easily getting that third extension with Lust uh you know reliably and and it really did feel good um but yeah an aoe this thing does a incredible amount of damage uh especially if you throw out two engulfs immediately after a tip to scales fire breath when you're in your dragon rage you're just going to do like an inordinate amount of threat and there's actually kind of a bug with engulf that i've noticed so if i do a max rank fire breath on something and uh then i use an engulf i've noticed that the engulf actually moves it to a target sometimes nearby in this case it looks like it did not move it. Oh, wait, it's all the way across the room. Yeah, there it is. So you see how the target across the room got the engulf? I hit this target with engulf and it hit this target, which isn't even in my range, which is a little weird. Uh, but if you look at the combat log here, right? if we look actually where the damage came out, uh, you'll notice that it actually hit that target for full damage, right? So it got basically the, the max rank fire breath. For some reason, whenever it applies it to the target, it also does the damage that your fire breath did whenever you first applied it. So... Um, what was happening in dungeons is because of this bug, because it was moving to like targets that were far away, it was hitting targets that weren't in combat with me and it was hitting them for like a ton of damage, right? Because it's doing like a max rank fire breath on a target that's not even in combat. That, that for sure is going to be threat on me, right? The tank is not going to be able to pull that off immediately unless they have taunt up. So again, the, the part where it's hitting the target that's out of combat is definitely a bug and it shouldn't be hitting stuff like all the way across the room. The tooltip says that it should be spreading it to a nearby target that was not nearby. Um, but I'm assuming once this is fixed that it won't be as much of an issue. Um, one thing that's also important to note about how this actually refreshes the duration of the debuff is that uh, it actually has kind of like a little delay to it. So like if I put up my fire breath and I engulf, you'll notice that uh, it, it jumped to this one this time. So it's not reliably going to the far target, but it does have like a travel time. So if it spreads, it has a little bit of a travel time. What it does first is it consumes the buff and then it moves it, or if it doesn't move it, it's going to consume the buff, wait a second, and then it's going to put it back on the target, which is a little weird, um, especially if you try to do like two engulfs in a row. If you aren't careful with it, you can end up spinning all of your fire breath, and then you aren't able to get that consumed flame. That's why you notice whenever I did AoE earlier, I sent a rank one fire breath at the start because I wanted to make sure I had enough fire breath on the target to get through two engulfs, uh, but we'll have to see how this actually pans out whenever this is fully cooked. Obviously, it's a bit raw still, uh, but Flame Shaper was pretty fun. So in this example, I'm going to show a dungeon, and you notice there we had the warband in your face, which is really cool. You have all your four characters that you you have favorited there, regardless of what realm they are. They're they're all in the same area, so you can just kind of pick and choose, and they're all just hanging out at camp without you. But uh, so I load in here, 
And uh, yeah, with Flame Shaper, I'm able to get my damage out, throw out a Dragon Rage, immediately start using those engulfs. And you notice the damage here is incredible. I think it did like 1.3 million there on that pop. So just like a ton of AoE burst. Um, I didn't pull threat on everything, but <laughs> I was AFK when the, the pull started and I still pulled threat on like two of these mobs. So I move into the tank. This trash, we had no idea how any of this stuff worked. We weren't really paying attention to the mechanics. We were just trying to get in there and just kind of do some damage and uh, see how far we could get in the dungeon without reading up too much. So uh, I think we're probably failing probably like every mechanic. You're going to watch this in the future and be like, wait, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? We were just kind of testing stuff out. This is one of the first dungeons we did. Um, but yeah, the idea with, with Flame Shaper is just get your Fire Breath out, use your Engulf. It's going to pop, do a ton of damage. Uh, it feels like Skill Commander in the sense that you always have damage in the pull because you're always going to have an Engulf. Um, so if you're rolling up to a pull without Dragon Rage, you can just go straight in there and then you can just put up your Fire Breath, pop it with the Engulf, and you're going to probably Rip Threat. Uh, it hits for about the same damage as a Tip to Scales Fire Breath. So just a huge amount of Threat as this build. Uh, and again, we're back to the problem with Devastation, right? Devastation has a huge threat problem. It has no way to mitigate threat. Once you have threat, the only way you can deal with it is by either running to the tank, cutting the mobs, or clicking release spirit. We don't have any other way to deal with it. Other classes do, we don't. Our damage comes from us. It doesn't come from our pets, so it's not being split in any way. And it's really problematic if the spec is designed around having like really high upfront damage, then why don't we have tools to deal with the high upfront damage. I don't know, it doesn't really make sense. Here we have another pull where I just hit a max rank fire breath into an engulf, boom, I get aggro on some of these mobs, but they get pulled back. And then just going into my eternity surge and doing some more AOE. Um, so yeah, it, it, very similar again to dev on live. Um, one thing I do wanna point out though, that deep breath. So I just did it, I'm gonna rewind just so I can show you again. Watch how fast this deep breath comes out. As Flame Shaper and as Scale Commander, your Deep Breath actually feels really, really good. Watch how fast this is. As soon as I press my Deep Breath button, my character is immediately flying in that direction. It still has a reticle, but phew, it's super speed, right? You go further, you go faster. Um, it's great. The other thing I want to point out is just like how far your hover takes you now because hover makes you go so, so far. So watch how far I went. Boom, that hover, it comes out instantly. You fly across the map. If you aren't used to this extended hover, like if you're used to the current way hover works, it feels really weird. But as you can see there, like it's very useful too, right? I was able to grab the mug, which you're supposed to throw at one of the thirsty patrons there. So I was able to uh, get a mug, hover out, throw it at someone, immediately get back in, grab another mug, hover back out. Uh, it's You can really just kind of zip around. So I think once you get a good feel for it, once you get a handle on it, um, it's gonna be really, really nice. So just to summarize Devastation in The War Within, I think Flame Shaper and Scale Commander are looking fantastic. I love the variety. I love how much different these two builds play. I also love that Deep Breath feels like a good button for both of them. If I'm playing Flame Shaper and I press my Deep Breath, I know it's going to go so fast that I can get out of that thing as, as quickly as possible and move on with my life. Uh, hopefully without running into any swirlies or lava or anything like that because it just zips you across. If I'm playing Scale Commander, I know I can eject myself from it if I need to. And I'm also able to steer away from things that might kill me. So that's great too. Um, I love that I'm able to get a lot of AOE damage out pretty much at all times. I love how much uh, the Dragon Rage resets are free now with the new abilities that we get, like the haste we get and the cooldown reduction for Scale Commander. Overall, Scale Commander definitely to me feels like a lot more fun. I mean, that's probably not a surprise, right? It seems like Scale Commander is kind of designed uh, for Devastation. Um, but I think both of these specs are actually very fun and distinct. And I think no matter how you enjoy Devastation, if you like the current play style more, if you're looking for something new, I think both of these are going to give you a great sampler plate to enjoy for Devastation. So overall, I'm actually very hopeful about Devastation in the War Within. Um, but again, just to recap the problems that we currently face. Um, number one is the fact that Augmentation is the only spec with Spatial Paradox for some reason. And Spatial Paradox will probably get us roped into Aug sometimes. Uh, and then obviously the threat issue, right? Threat is a major, major concern. And with so much more burst that we have as these specs, it really feels like we're missing a button when it comes to threat. But maybe the tank damage will be increased to compensate. Uh, but yeah, overall, Devastation's great. I I'm loving it, honestly. And I had so much fun playing on the War Within Alpha, and I'm so glad I got the opportunity to go and play that, test it out, kind of get a feel for the play style, and then deliver that news to you so that you could know how this stuff plays. So ultimately, it's going to be up to you and how you feel about Devastation in The War Within. But I know personally, I am feeling fantastic about this and uh, really hopeful for what's to come. So 
If you have some thoughts about what I've covered in this video, be sure to leave a comment below. And if you wanna see more of my content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, also like the video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.